The Center for uh, Molecular and Cellular Biosciences came into being right after the pandemic in 2020, uh, 2021. The idea behind that here at Southern Miss is that we want to bring together experts from our faculty, uh, from across various disciplines, from across different colleges even, uh, into one center to work together in molecular and cellular biosciences. And right now we have an interdisciplinary expertise that exists that includes biochemistry, biophysics, cellular biology, genetics, immunology, microbiology, and virology. So we have this diverse set of people come in to increase the research productivity in these areas. You have faculty, staff, and students with the opportunity to work across disciplines to address complex problems in biosciences. And the synergistic effort feeds upon itself and creates its own ecosystem where everybody's working across disciplines, um, addressing really complex research problems and the ability to bring in others that can help support that. So you're not able to just address those research needs. You're also able to give students a great opportunity to train in a holistic environment with a lot of different experts and learn a lot about the field. The center help us to uh collect all the faculties together with the similar interest so we can help each other, so we can review ground for each other, and also we can get like, you know, um, lots of uh, conversations, which is uh, that's really support our research. By being a part of our uh, uh, center, uh, we benefit from interaction with other groups. You can get uh, the view of your research uh, from different people's opinion, from different research background. I get to see uh, different approaches to science and maybe see things, see problems from different angles. And so in that way, it really does help to kind of enrich my, uh, my training as a graduate student. When you're not able to find an answer, you simply can walk to the next door and knock the door. And there you are, you will have a different expert present with a different expertise who could provide an outside the box solution to them. As you know, Mississippi thrives in students of underrepresented minorities. There's a great deal of disparity that exists in life sciences research, in uh, having participation from women and uh, underrepresented minorities and people of color. And we want to be a part of the mission to actually change this, right? And bring in and train people for the next generation. Mississippi Embraer is an NIH program uh, to support capacity building across the state of Mississippi. Uh, it provides for student training, grants, and also instrumentation. We have instruments and equipment from a wide range of science disciplines, including microinjectors, spectrophotometers, uh, flow cytometry, quantitative and droplet digital PCR systems, and of course, several different types of microscopes. We're basically a full range laboratory that offers instruments that individual research labs maybe can't afford or are too complicated to run or maintain. The facilities that's available that we share, that we have you know, access to really made it possible for us to do a lot of works that otherwise requires a lot more funding um, individually. If you don't have, let's say, something to analyze E. coli, working in an RNA lab where you don't really do a whole lot with bacteria, um, you can go to the, that facility and you can use the equipment there to um, get the data that you need to carry out your experiment. And with it being in the same centralized location, and not having to go even outside of another outside of the building, it's very useful. The formation of CMCB ha is really helping me to build the well-roundedness which I need as I graduate from the grad school and make me well equipped with the techniques and the knowledge that I need to pursue my research career further. There's a ton of growth in bioscience um, and the jobs look different now than they ever have looked in the past. And so the ability to have a holistic view and a different approach is going to provide students as well as our faculty and staff with the tools they need to better address these questions and make a lot of difference in society. As I said, the, the main goal for us as a center, there are a couple of goals. One is to actually put the university and the center in the map of global life sciences research. And second, we want to achieve uh, greatness in our graduate education, uh, generating and developing 
and next generation um, biosciences researchers who can go to many places that uh, will challenge them, right? So they will be prepared for that. And also the third part is the outreach part where we want to sort of be inclusive uh, in bringing in people of color, women, underrepresented groups and give them opportunities to, uh, to showcase their talent and build and develop into uh, researchers of uh, the next generation. The thing that I would recommend to prospective CMCB graduate students is to just take the plunge, apply, come here, and you'll experience all the greatness that the CMCB Center has to offer.